Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. If you have just uh, turned in now, share the broadcast. I want to address Simon. Uh, like I said, usually I don't speak to non-entities. I don't uh, respond to everybody. You know, I respond to government. I respond to organization and I respond to big people in the society, you know, th those are the people that maybe if they want to talk about me or if they want to fight, I give them war. But uh, somebody like Simon, I don't usually pay attention to them because he's a... Uh, the young man is uh, has a lot to do in his life, you know. He has a long way to go. But uh, I was uh, I was at the office here addressing uh, my visitors, uh, visitors that came from all over the world. Somebody brought me. My secretary brought me the video of what Simon was talking about me, you know, calling me all sorts of name. See, one is a, is a charlatan, is an amateur, amateur magician, is a false prophet, cage the false prophet, it's a it's a con man you know it says it says karma and so forth and so on uh, but this is not the first time that he has been talking about sia one anytime he get bored you know or anytime he want to get following on his page he always talk about sia one because when you talk not only him it's common anytime you talk about Sia One, you get a lot of response. People would love to people would love to hear about what you want to say concerning Sia One. So anytime he want to is looking for an attention, he always talk about me. But uh, I just want to say something. Mr. Simon said CIA one does not have influence on the people of Zambia. I'm not going to argue with that, but uh, everyone that is watching this broadcast can testify. Anytime you see me fighting, anytime you see me uh, Anytime you see me on live broadcasts like this, fighting and shouting, there is something wrong. I do not fight because I want to fight. I fight only when things go wrong. And that is me. I don't fight because uh, I, I, it's because of my personal benefit. I fight because many people are not benefiting. Mr. Simon Mwewa today want to call me all sorts of names, which I believe, you know, he, he called me a con man, of course, I am. He called me a criminal, I am. He calls me a false prophet, of course I am. He, he says I don't have influence on the people of Zambia, that I didn't inf influence the people of Zambia to vote for a church. I don't have. 
you know you, you can call me anything you want to call me and say anything you want to say i am in agreement with you but one thing i will not agree with you is that i am not a coward i don't i i i can be any other thing i can be anything that you want to say that i am i will agree with you but i am not a coward i am jagaban the dawn of power see a one i don't fear even here in nigeria i've been threatened several times see one you are going to be arrested stop talking about the government stop talking about this thing i look at them i laugh no one on earth can make me fear i stand for the people and with the people i'm not a betrayer i've never betrayed the people that i love when i'm standing with you i stand with you unless when i'm tired of standing with you when you have done the wrong thing i will leave you simon can call me anything he want to call me today but he must know that he's a coward and i'm not a coward that makes sorry. He must know that I'm not a coward. That makes me different from him. When Eddie Galungu and the PF were mistreating the people of Zambia, when things were going wrong in Zambia, I stood up for the people, even if Zambia is not my country. I stood up for the people use the influence that i have and fought for the people what did simon mwewa do for the people of zambia what did he do for the people of zambia according to him with his latest broadcast that he's talking about now he said no i was i know that pf was notorious according to him today pf is a notorious notorious pf according to him the notorious pf we are so bad they they wanted to beat him and so on and so forth he knew that they were bad but he was supporting them <laughs> what what does that make you that makes you a coward and at your age i don't expect you to be a coward that makes you a coward <laughs> I'm not a coward. Even knowing that PF was doing the wrong thing with all the things that PF did for me, I stood against them. And I supported I supported President HH. I told people to go and vote for HH because HH was going to deliver them. HH was uh, the way forward. I said it i was not a coward i didn't hide when i was saying it even the government of nigeria came in brought a negotiation between me and the pf i refused i said i can never be a coward what was simon doing simon was following mao samba every blessed day he was in the house for mao samba with a camera and a selfie stick it was every blessed day following Edgar Lungu. Edgar Lungu is going to commission a um, flyover. The first person that will be there is Simon Well. Ego one, ego one, ego one, ECL, ECL, ECL. He was the first person praising ECL. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. While he was praising ECL, I was busy fighting ECL. <laughs> so between me and Simon, who 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 is doing the right thing? <laughs> who is a fake person here? Every day ECL ECL. He campaigned for for ECL like never before. 
and they paid him according to him they paid him they gave him money but me see one i refuse to collect money from pf because i love the people and i wanted to fight for the people i love a church i wanted to fight for a church so because of few quarter that he was paid by pf he betrayed his people he betrayed his conscience i myself that refused to betray my conscience who is false who is true <laughs> the, the 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 answer is simple <laughs> the answer is simple who is false i may be a scammer i may be a a a, a what do you call a false prophet i may be all those things that he calls me but who, between me and him whose character is character of false judas iscariot that betrayed his people because of few quarter that he was paid by pf he was following Bowman Lusambo up and down. If Bowman Lusambo had to release Pupu, he would eat the Pupu. He was licking the boot for Mao Sampa. Mao Sampa is no longer in, 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 in government. Is now in opposition. He has abandoned Mao Sampa. How many times has he visited Mao Sampa? The way he used to visit Mao Sampa when they were in government. <laughs> so so who who among us here you may not believe what i believe i don't force people to believe what i do i i don't i don't i can never come to you and tell you come to my church or uh, get the do as i say product i can't do that have you ever seen me come here to advertise you buy buy do as i say product come to my church i don't have those time I don't talk about those things those are personal when you feel like you need power like you you are tired of praying you are tired of what you are going through you contact me and say see i want i need your help i will tell you what to do for me to help you if you do it i will help you i don't beg people in that area so i we are not even here to talk about you may not believe in my way of doing things in my way of doing ministry or serving god but you will bear me witness that in this way that many people say simon says see one is a satanist i have saved more people than him that calls himself a believer every sunday he go to miracle life miracle life is a church for white people they are black churches a macando has a church there are black community churches in zambia he will not attend he go to a white man <laughs> he has been a slave from birth because when he was born they sent him to america he was a slave in america and came back with nothing and he's still a slave a man that came back to inherit his father's building when he came back from america the father spent thousands hundreds of thousands of kwacha to send him to america to study in america so that he would come back and contribute to the society to the wealth of the ministry of 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 their family when the father died he came back he came back with nothing the only thing he came back with we say it's white people's english <laughs> speaking like a fool <laughs> that is the only thing that simon came back to zambia with speaking from his nose and to him he's happy sometimes i sit down I ask myself, does this man has a wife? Does this man have children? Are they happy with their father, a grown-up man, carrying a safety stick every blessed day, moving on the street? I mean he has nothing to do he just carries safety stick 
and start moving from street to street embarrassing innocent men and the women that are trading Things are hard in Africa. Things are hard everywhere. These men and women are on the street looking for a way to survive. Their parents left nothing for them. The only thing that Simon does is to carry selfie stick, goes and they embarrass them. And his family, are they happy with this? In that age, you know, at that age, a grown-up man like that can find it funny while his friends somebody like Kimikalile HH is his age mate I mentioned them they are doing very well at his age he carries selfie stick and, and start loitering about all around the street embarrassing and inconveniencing innocent people I mean, to me, I, I can never allow my father to do that. That is an embarrassment. That, I, I don't find it funny. Sometimes I feel pity for that man. When, when I watch his video, how he's, how he's uh, loitering around the street, going from street to street, jumping from one gossip to another gossip he, he, that guy, that man is too old for such a thing you know there are so many young zambians that can do those things he, he, at, at his age he's supposed to be be reasonable for himself you know he fight every person every even the children if there is anything that uh, your map does, he will jump into it. Muzikanji does, he will jump into it. Kidis does, he will jump into it. Lily does, he will jump into it. At his age, this is this this is. Uh, I don't I don't find it funny. That man need deliverance. He really need deliverance. I mean. The guy needs deliverance. Things are not okay in his brain. He things are not okay. I wish he can listen to my broadcast and be, be fruitful to himself. Such things cannot be done. Even, you know, how, how will people see you? The only thing you do is to speak English and move about the street from here to here from here disturbing people for no reason eh? i mean disturbing people for no reason when he came back from america his father's building that simpson building uh, up to now the building is rotten it's dilapidated <laughs> And I'm going to recommend that uh, the government of UPND must look into that building as well. So that they can see but that building is not safe. But uh, he, he still had to come back and borrow money from the Bank of Zambia. You mean, you? what did you go to America to do then? If you cannot, you don't have a million, ordinary one million kwacha. Ordinary one million kwacha. You still have to carry your big English from America come here and borrow money to renovate the building your father must be turning in his grave because he wasted money for nothing he wasted money for nothing uh, anyone that leaves their country like right there where you are in Zambia or any country where you are watching from you leave your country going into another man's country you want to go and better your life and come back with something big this one went to America the father suffered so much to raise him gave him a good education he just went there and came back with nothing came back and started borrowing from Zambian Bank in my community Nigerian community he, where we are today if you travel abroad and come back with nothing you'll be shy to come out in public I was in Zambia I stayed in Zambia for many years when you travel you go to another country 
and they come back to Zambia and you didn't come back with anything you will be shy you know you will be hiding like because you are a failure the reason why you travel abroad is to go and better your life bring something into your country change your family and change your community that's why you travel abroad this idiot traveled abroad and came back with nothing and still borrowed money to renovate his father's property then why did you travel to America? <laughs> to come and teach children how to speak English. <laughs> to be moving from market to market. To be licking the boot of president. You see the difference between me and you. A church listen to me. When I talk to him, he listen to me because he knows that I'm not a fool. He knows that while he has saying CIA1 does not have influence, he know that the influence that CIA1 command in Zambia is unbelievable. I don't lick a church boot. I praise him. I am a member of praise singer. I praise when things are okay. But when things are not okay, I cannot lick his boot. But today you are licking the boot of a church. You are licking his boot. Even when you see that things are not okay in the government, you are licking the boot. The government that you hated so much, today you are licking the boot. You are licking the boot. <laughs> we that fought for the government, we are, especially C1, I can't lick boot. I will praise. I am a member of praise singer. And I've been praising. But when things are not okay, I talk. And when I talk, they listen. Didn't you follow the proceeding of what happened yesterday? How many singers were rewarded? Eh? They listen. Even Edgar Lungu, while he was in power, he was listening to me. But I refuse to be a bootlicker. You are a bloody bootlicker. And, and you are you are a dao boot licker and you are a betrayer when eddie galungu was in power everywhere he go hey ecl hey i'm waiting for the arrival of ecl eh? ecl this ecl that you want to kiss him you want to lick his feet you want to i will follow your proceeding it was very difficult for you to mention the name of a church. You used to call him the leader of the red. Leader of the red. That's what we are calling a church. You, you, we are not opening your mouth to say a church. It was difficult for you to use your page and pronounce a church. You call him the leader of the red. But for ECL, ECL, ego one. You, 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 the day Eddie Galungu lost the election, we are the first person, betrayer, you are the first person that started fighting him. <laughs> Even before PF gave up power, the same people that you said they paid you, the same people that we are following up and down day and night, the same people that you said they have, they, they have developed Zambia, you follow them everywhere with your selfie stick, your big ass, and so on and so forth. You, you, you are the first person that called them notorious PF. That is not my character. I am Sia One, the dawn of power. I don't hide my character. If you love me, okay. If you hate me, it will choke you. When I say I'm supporting this person, I support that person. If I supported a church and a church lost the election, I was still going to support him. But you only support, you are, you are a Judas Iscariot. I don't even know the reason why you go to church. When I see you attacking Eddie Galungu, attacking PF, the same people you were eating with few years ago. The way you were following Mao Sampa every day. I am visiting the mayor. I'm in the mayor's house. The way you were following Boma Lusambodi. The way you were following PF Raleigh and so on. You didn't even allow them to lose. You showed them ivory. You showed them your true color. <laughs> you... Simon, Simon Wewa, you are a woman. 
That's why you have big ass. That character of a woman is in you. You even have breasts. There is a breast there. So you you are supposed to be a woman because that character you have is character of a woman. A man can never be a coward. A man cannot start a uh, praising a church uh, today. Wow 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 wow. Immediately a church leaves power. You you start talking rubbish about a church. <laughs> you did it, Edigalungu. And this is why you see now Edigalungu have waking up. His eyes are open. He decided to follow idiot like Simon. Simon that doesn't have any 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 following. <laughs> he doesn't have anybody that follows him. <laughs> he says I don't have influence. <laughs> this page that you are using to watch me now has only about thirteen thousand followers. I just opened this page now. Look at how many people that are watching me. By the time I'm done speaking here it has translated to millions of people so which other influence are you talking about see one does not have influence apart from uh eddie galungu there is no any other person in history that did a rally that gathered thirty thousand people in one place it was only eddie galungu in 20 2015 or 2016 at the hero stadium Apart from that, no one, even President HH himself, has never done a rally that gathered 30,000 people together. But I did a campaign for HH online that gathered 35,000 people together. And by the time it was two days, the time the broadcast was two days old, it was already reaching five to six million people so what type of influence are you talking about again eh? me i can be everything that you call me but i am not uh, i am not a bootlicker and i'm not a coward you betrayed uh, ecl you betrayed bowman lusambo you betrayed pf people they were so good to you that they were even giving you money to post their advert but you betrayed them you are looking for a way to enter into you uh, into upn the government so that you can betray them again let me tell you this this is when you know that c1 has power in zambia you will never get anything from this government if you get anything i swear know that i'm a fool you can't because we know you you are a betrayer you are a betrayer you don't love a church <laughs> because when he was campaigning you didn't say you didn't even mention his name on your page those of you that are watching this broadcast you can you can go and check he never he said the leader of the red the leader of the red that's how he was addressing a church so who went to the police station to vote for leader of the red it was hard for him because of hatred to mention a church on his page so that people don't vote for a church but he, he didn't have he didn't have a he didn't have a follow he doesn't have following he doesn't have influence even at his home he doesn't have influence if he has influence at his home they will tell him to say sit this your big ass down at the office and behave like a father even his children cannot manage to do what he's doing they, they they can't manage they can't manage to carry selfie stick and start roaming the street like a mad person speaking useless english you are speaking useless english you are poor you don't have anything you depend on 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 uh, 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 on a uh, rent from your father's investment a rotten building you don't even have money to maintain the building nothing you don't have money to maintain the building you are just looking for this time you are praising agent when i see you talking against pf i don't love pf i fought them and they are out of power but when i see you talking against them today the way you used to be their their darling I look at you and say you don't have a wife if you have if you have a wife she will tell you please sit down stop you are embarrassing you are embarrassing the family 
you are embarrassing the name of your father your father loves you that's why he sent you abroad to go and study and as you are coming you are supposed to come with a bag of money or bag of investment what did you come back with <laughs> you came back with nothing you still have to borrow money from the bank to renovate your father's rotting building then why did you travel abroad eh? <laughs> why did you travel abroad <laughs> i don't love pf <laughs> but i i can never betray <laughs> betray my people <laughs> <laughs> I cannot just say, uh -huh, hey, the guy, hey, the guy, I love you. Hey, the guy, you are the best. What, what? And the day he loses the election, I turn around. Even before the result was announced, he went to the street and gather street people and tell them to start insulting PF, the PF that was feeding you. <laughs> <laughs> the PF that was giving you business. <laughs> eh? <laughs> and you think that UPN can take you serious that you can't get anything from UPN sit down in that your office use that your fat ass that your woman woman shaped ass and that your breast sit it at home and think about yourself and think about your family you know you you you, you, you are supposed to be a woman you are supposed to be a woman if you were a woman at least now you are a man you are behaving like a woman you even go to the street and fight with women what kind of a man are you you go to the street and then you know start fighting women women that are looking for a way to survive eh? just because your father left you a, <laughs> a rotten building i'm not against uh, 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 parents leaving inheritance for the children i i'm not I'm, I'm not against that i love that me myself i am leaving a lot a lot and a lot for my children but my child will be a fool to come and inherit my business without adding to the business my son must inherit 20 building and in one year must translate it to 50 buildings you inherited that rotten building of yours and there is nothing else that you are doing the only thing you do now is to wake up in the morning comb your hair and start speaking english like a mad person useless english you are speaking english you are poor <laughs> poor lecturer poor englishman me i prefer not to speak i prefer not to the the landlord of edi galungo today is he nsunzu stupid and sunzu the cheap polo polo defender he doesn't know how to speak english but he's a landlord to former president he doesn't who does english help in the first place the finer the english the broker the person the when you see somebody that is expert in english the pocket is up is dry I prefer not to speak good English but to be wealthy. Who does English help? <laughs> Who does English help? English doesn't help anybody. <laughs> English, English doesn't help anybody. <laughs> English is not our language in Africa go to that your america of yours i suspect that you are a gay also go to that america of yours eh? bring one muzungu one white man bring him to zambia and tell him to speak nyanja if he speak nyanja very well like the way you speak english then know that i'm a fool how come 
when a white man speak nyanja and he doesn't even speak well we black people clap for him but when a white when a black person try to speak english make a single mistake a simple one all of we will gather to crucify that person is it our language <laughs> your duty is to fight pf <laughs> you see the difference between me and you i don't fight people that are down i fight people that are up because i am a jacoban i am done of power i am always up for the challenge i am always ready to fight i can't fight a baby pf is dead now we brought pf down i will be a fool to continue fighting them as for now that is the difference between me and you i'm not a coward you are now licking the boot of the boot of um you are now licking the boot of up and the party that you hated the most the president that you hated the most and at the other day i saw you at state house taking selfie with a hh do you did you want to sleep with him hh is not a gay the way you run around him like the way you are running around mao samba i was suspecting something the way you run around Bo and Lusambo, that your big ass is not there for nothing something is wrong with you i swear if we investigate properly eh, your wife is going through her at home because I've never seen your character does not show that you are you are a man. <laughs> you are not a man. <laughs> when Chela was uh, trending in Zambia, when he was arrested and released, you are the first person because you like attention. You started looking for him and you called him. Chela, Chela, my brother, come, I want to interview you, interview you. Me, I told Chela, don't go. This man is a green snake in a green grass. At least my own is open. You take me for who I am. If you love me, it's good for you. If you hate me, you will choke. <laughs> it doesn't concern me. But this one pretend so much. Chela, don't go for the interview. Chela went for the interview. You used Chela. The first time you had over 5,000 to 6,000 views was the day you were interviewing Chela. And you were laughing like a woman. Hey, hey, ooh, hey Chela, now tell us what is going to happen in your life. Now that you... I was watching, I was laughing. I said, Chela, I don't know who you are. Deal, you, are you are dealing with Eve. This one is Eve. She, she, she will give you fruit. You will eat. And she will show you pepper. And what? Now that you are, what is good? He put view and used Chela to arrange a lot of viewer, viewers. <laughs> the day Chela was convicted and sent to prison, he was the first person that ran to come and betray Chela. <laughs> This is Zambia, this type of character with in America. Ta! America kill you there. America did what? In America, this can, you cannot abuse women. You cannot you cannot do women like this. You cannot women. Hey women. I was laughing at you. I say, what did I tell you? This one you are dealing with. He calls me a false prophet. I agree. He calls me a criminal. Anything he calls me, I agree. And I'm not going to stop. But he's a coward. He's a woman in a man's body. If you want evidence, check his ass. Check his breast. You will see. I told him. He was the first person that betrayed Chela. He betrayed Chela. <laughs> Chela was put in prison. Pa! And he was celebrating. I went to my page and started fighting PF for jailing Chela. Between me and you now, who is to be trusted? 
you said my leg will never enter Zambia that you have you have made report you made report to your kitchen make report to your to your your wife don't even care about you because I don't think that a grown-up woman can uh, entertain a fellow woman just you know unless she she also has a problem <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, it's not going to enter see man it's not going to enter Zambia <laughs> you can stop me from entering Zambia I don't understand though when you cannot control your family your own family you can control the whole of Zambia immigration eh? <laughs> so I just wanted to address you my brother you say that I don't have influence on this uh, on this Facebook here I sat and spoke about musicians to Eddie Galungu saying he neglected the musicians. Majority of musicians that received empowerment received it because of me under the regime of Eddie Galungu. Slap D, Makitu, Mambi, even, even though that is supposed, supposed to receive, they receive because I spoke. Go and speak now. Give speak. I want you to go live tomorrow and speak. Talk about government. Talk about. Let me see if they will listen to you. You are nobody. You are a non-entity. We we are not equal. You are you are uh, you are a baby. You are a baby goat. I am a lion. I just want you to uh, stay on your lane. Stop talking about me. Stop saying, see, I want this. Everything you say that I did, even the one that you are going to say tomorrow, I did. And I will still do it again. I'm not going to change. But at the end of the day, I am not a coward. I am the dawn of power. I supported a church from the bottom of my heart and told a church that he was going to be the president of Zambia. And I influenced a good number of the youths, a good number of women, a good number of men to vote for a church and they voted for him. You we are influencing people to vote for ECL. Did the ECL win? Immediately he lost election, you turn against him. Today your mouth is full of notorious PF. Notorious PF. You no longer tell people that Edgar Lungo built bridges. He, he built hospital. You no longer tell people those nice things we are telling them during election. Can't you see those hospitals? You can't see those bridges. You don't tell them anymore. You have betrayed the Digalung. You want to come and betray a church. That will not happen. A church don't even care about you. And, and there is nobody in UPND that regard you as a as a human. They, they only take you as a baby. <laughs> because you're a baby. A bouncing baby girl, not even a baby boy, because my boy, Chipego, who is only but three years old, if I ask him to go outside and they move around with camera and they start disturbing men and women that are passing, that boy will say that they are not going to go. So it's better than you. Is is what is three years old, but is wiser than you. It is you that leave your office. You want to do the work of uh, the town council to go and fight with women because you don't have anything doing. <laughs> anyway.
<laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So, there is no hope for you in UPND. That you must know. We, we don't entertain uh, people, men with big ass in UPND. UPND is an organized party. We don't want to be confused when we see you coming from behind we think that a woman is coming we don't we want things to be and we don't entertain cowards we don't entertain already we have a lot of betrayers a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, green snake in green grass in UPN, and we are going to root them out so we don't want people like you sit down at your office and think about what you would do you are about to die because you are you are grown up you are look at your age you don't achieve anything i built a palace for my mother at your age old enough to be my grandfather you went around telling people that is a hotel that is not see a one's house that he just went to the hotel to do ceremony i look at you i say what type of fool is this i built a hotel no that's not his hotel that hotel it belonged to another person i started a church within the within two weeks no that is church they are, they are less than 900 people see a one cannot survive in nigeria come to my church today i am running the fastest growing ministry in the whole of nigeria my ministry is the single largest congregation here in Owere, and we are five months old i am the don of power i don't learn this thing i conquered when i was in zambia i conquered when i was in south africa why what will stop me from conquering in nigeria eh? I am the don of power. Just check the class. Check my security details. When I'm when I am moving on the road, just check look look at it. You know that we are not operating on the same level. I am a big boy. Big big boy i just i don't make noise you know i'm so I'm, I'm not a boastful type i am big go to my page and check my arrival anywhere i go when i'm coming you think that a president is coming <laughs> and you 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 while you sit in your office there with your big ass gossiping very soon you see these women that uh, twist hair weave Eh? very soon you'll be found with them gossiping because that's where you belong i don't want to go farther than this i just wanted to address you stay away from sia one stay away from from sia one we are not operating on the same level the money that i spend in a week is able if you behave well is able to pay you and you become a human but i mean in a week not in a month the money that i spend in a week is able to take care of you is able to set up a good business for you and you become responsible for yourself don't fight somebody that is bigger than you yeah uh, uh, people come from zambia to meet me in nigeria they see things for themselves you yourself watch me always on facebook you see things for yourself that levels are not the same the least car that follow me in my convoy is able to change your life forever and ever so let's stop talking about me i've passed that level you talk about see one cannot enter zambia you in your house where you are you cannot even stop a cockroach from entering then a homie see one 
the dawn of power the international campaign manager for hh you say i will not enter please who who will stop me in the first place who will stop me you go around that telling people see i want to say he was going to have a crusade and they and the, i told you that he's not going to come and he didn't come i didn't come because of our church documents here in nigeria is not complete and i want to travel making sure that everything here is complete It's not because uh, Zambia deny me visa. Zambia cannot deny me visa. Uh, but how is it possible? Zambia can never deny me visa. You do you? If I I always ask this question: If you are HH or you PND and see i want to visit zambia if you are wise are you going to deny see i want the opportunity from visiting zambia <laughs> you see everybody wants me to come everyone wants me to come there <laughs> it's me that is saying wait let me finish i just started my ministry here and the ministry is booming let me put things in order i will come and bless the people of zambia i will bring do as i say to zambia distribute to the people of zambia and change thousands of lives and nothing will happen so uh, let's learn let's stick to our levels <laughs> Let's learn how to mind our business. <laughs> See, I want to see no where the emo state. Yes, <laughs> that's where I am. So let's stick to our level. I just wanted to address him because this is a very small page. It's not my big Facebook page. This is my new Facebook page. I cannot use that one to address him because it's too small. That one, I reserve it for war. Uh, in January, if things don't, if UPND don't do the right thing, so this one is very small, you know. Uh, look, I come in peace. Take my advice. Just sit down. My uh, uh, sit down and uh, think about your life you are you are too old you know you're about to die you have not achieved anything your children what are you going to tell your children that you have left for them you tell them that uh, this i inherited this property from my father so this property is coming to you <laughs> <laughs> this proper this rotting building here is not mine it's my father they will tell you where is your own property <laughs> they will laugh at you they are even laughing at you <laughs> somebody say has he already addressed imenda <coughs> That statement did not come from Mr. Imenda. UPND people respect me so much. They give me maximum respect. I mean, serious maximum respect. In a, I've already told them what to do. And they, they are doing good. At least, I saw a these musicians being honored you know i saw you know there is happiness uh, caveman pilato these guys that sacrifice you know they, they they were honored this is what i wanted you know this is what i wanted people that fought must eat not a uh, idiot stranded fools like cry cry baby who go around begging from uh, kings malembe malembe survive from begging that guy can beg forget about all those things he said that he's uh, doing like everything is okay nothing is okay for him he's a beggar he can beg even boxers he can beg i'm telling you i he worked with me i know what i used to give to him he's a beggar you know so when i see a home minister going to attend the a, a show for a beggar like that a beggar who who 
hated church who didn't so i was you know i was very upset and the minister also has been called and has been cautioned this is what i want i don't i don't uh, we you, idiots cannot just wake up from anywhere and start benefiting from the the battle we fought you know uh, that's that's where my that's where my uh, that's where my my anger came from and they, they promised to put things together and i can see that things are falling uh, in place so may god bless you somebody says see when are you coming to zambia the date is going to be announced we our papers here in nigeria delayed that's all there is no any other problem we don't have any problem with the zambian government as you know that government is our government it's our product we fought for it you know so uh, we don't have problem with them so anytime my papers our papers are ready here in nigeria i will apply for a visa i will come and bless the people of zambia i want to say may god bless you and uh, to simon i believe maybe you can learn one or two things from this broadcast stop being a betrayer i know when you talk about pf remember how you were singing for them what changed may god bless you i love you All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.